Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of serotonin and its impact on our body and mind. Many of us associate serotonin with depression, sleep, appetite, sex, or temperature control. But did you know that this neurotransmitter plays a crucial role in bowel movements, uterine contractions, and controlling the blood flow and volume throughout the body? In this video, we'll explore the history, functions, and significance of serotonin. So let's get started. To understand the story of serotonin, we need to go back to the time just before World War II. A brilliant Italian scientist named Vittorio Erspema discovered a substance in gastrointestinal extracts known as enteramin. This substance, later identified as an amine, would become the foundation of our understanding of serotonin. However, it wasn't until after the war that further research on this fascinating molecule could resume. Interestingly, during the post-war period and the Korean conflict, there were experiments conducted on the use of LSD for psychochemical torture and interrogation. This concept involved finding chemicals that could mentally incapacitate enemies. The goal was not only to disable the enemy but also to use drugs for interrogation purposes. The deep pockets of the military pharmaceutical complex paid for the brain-based serotonin neurotransmitter research. This is a timeline of the discovery and identification of serotonin. You can also see how our knowledge of serotonin was subverted by the deep pockets of the military pharmaceutical complex, resulting in an almost complete elimination of the origins of serotonin in the nervous vasomotorus by the medical pharmaceutical complex. As part of these experiments, hallucinogenic substances like psilocybin and mescaline were tested on soldier volunteers from different parts of the country. These experiments inadvertently contributed to the drug culture that emerged in the 1960s. It's interesting to note that the search for mental state-altering substances for torture led to the discovery of serotonin's significant role in our brain. Big Pharma was quick to recognize the money-generating potential for mental state-altering drugs. This brain-based neurotransmitter research of LSD, mescaline, and magic mushrooms revealed the mood-altering potential and the development of drugs for anxiety, depression, bipolar, etc. This resulted in an even deeper deep pockets paying for research and development of drugs by Big Pharma. The consequence of this is a complete ignorance of the function of 95% of plasma neurotransmitters in the body. The healthcare community to this day continue to describe the effects of serotonin from a brain-based perspective. No one has bothered to ask why the Latin translation of serotonin is pertaining to tone of the blood. Now, let's talk about the abdominal brain and gut connection. While the brain's serotonin receives more attention, it's essential to acknowledge the vast amount of serotonin used in our gut. The gut's serotonin influences various aspects of our well-being, including peristaltic contractions, vasomotor blood vessel diameter regulation, and even reproductive function. Serotonin is not just a neurotransmitter associated with the central nervous system. Its history is intertwined with the development of psychochemical enhanced torture and interrogation, and the exploration of hallucinogenic substances. While serotonin in the brain gets more attention, the serotonin in our gut plays a vital role in our overall well-being. The abdominal brain connection reminds us of the importance of plasma neurotransmitters in the care of our digestive health. During World War II, the chemical structure of serotonin was still unknown at that time. The accidental discovery in 1943 of the hallucinogenic properties of LSD by the chemist Albert Hoffman is well known. In May 1949, the structure was finally determined to be 5-hydroxytryptamine, 5 5-HT. 5 Five years later, in 1948, serotonin was found in the blood of cattle. Then, in 1953, during a routine survey of various tissues, serotonin was found in the brain. Shortly thereafter, based on the observation that LSD, psilocybin, and mescaline all had a similar structure to serotonin. LSD could arouse serotonin in peripheral tissues in addition to the hallucinogenic effects of LSD in the central nervous system. This hypothesis was soon modified to include the possibility that LSD could mimic as well as provoke the actions of serotonin. Very few understand that mood-altering drugs work in the abdomen by arousing the nervous vasomotorus, which is the proper name for the abdominal brain. This oversimplification fails to capture the complexity of the nervous vasomotorus control over the NEI supersystem as it disregards the autonomy and independence of the nervous vasomotorus. 
by solely focusing on the cranial brain, the broader picture of interconnected bodily systems is lost. In conclusion, serotonin is not just a neurotransmitter associated with the central nervous system. Its history is intertwined with the development of psychochemical torture and interrogation, and the exploration of hallucinogenic substances. While serotonin in the brain gets more attention, the serotonin in our nervous vasomotorus plays a vital role in our overall well-being. The connection of the NEI supersystem reminds us of the importance of taking care of our vasomotor health. We hope you found this video insightful and learned something new about serotonin. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more fascinating content. And remember, maintaining a healthy NEI supersystem is crucial for a balanced mind and body. Thank you for watching. If you want to explore more about the NEI supersystem and expand your knowledge, visit our Higher Self Functional Medicine website. Don't forget to join us next time for another exciting topic. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.